Hi everybody. Now we will discuss about network information service. Basically by the definition you can know that a network. What do you, do you mean by a network? Network is nothing but a collection of computers which can exchange data as well as information between them. So for that we use network information service. For example, let us suppose that there is a server running and there are three clients which wants to access the data. So the client has to log in with a user ID as well as password to that server and then a particular space is allocated to him to work on to that. For example, he can store his files there, he can update his files whenever he wants. He can not only access his files or resources from one terminal but also he can shift to another terminal and he can access the shared resources as well as files. This was a brief description. Now let us go in detail into the file that is network information service. Network information service is a service that provides information that has to be known throughout the network to all machines on the network. There is a support for NIS in Linux standard library which in the following text is referred to as traditional NIS. Now let us have a look how NIS server works. For example, within a network, there must be at least one machine acting as an NIS server. You can also have multiple NIS servers, each serving different NIS domains. Or you can have cooperating NIS servers as well. Whenever there are more than one NIS servers, then the main server is known as the master NIS server and the rest of the servers are known as slave NIS servers. Now let us discuss about NIS configuration steps. The NIS configuration includes two services. First one is the NFS and second one is the NIS. Let us, them, let us discuss them in detail. NFS style stands for Network File System. Let us go into the detail of NFS. NFS was developed to allow machines to mount a disk partition on a remote machine as if it were on a local hard drive that is for location transparency. It also gives the potential for unwanted people to access your hard drive over the network if you set it up incorrectly. So you have to be more carefully on providing any changes to that file. So please read the security section of this document carefully if you intend to implement an NFS setup. Let us discuss what is NFS and how to configure it. This is how to is intended as a complete step by step guide to setting up NFS correctly and effectively. Setting up NFS involves two steps namely configuring the server and then configuring the client. The configuration files which are involved in NFS configurations are slash etc slash exports. Now let us have a detailed look on slash etc slash exports. In this exports file, we will enter which directory or file can be exported to share mentioned in this file. For example, let us discuss about the syntax. Syntax is directory name space star. Star indicates the permissions given to all the users. R and W. R and W stands for read write permissions. SNIC. SNIC is used for synchronization purpose. Let us now discuss an example. If we want to share home directory with read write permissions to all the users, then we have to type slash home space star open the brackets RW comma SNIC and we have to close the brackets. The permissions which can be given to the slash home directory are RO for read only, RW for read and write. Like this we can give the permissions to the directories as well as files. Now let us have a detailed description on NIS configuration. The configurations present in this are slash etc slash rc dot sys init. Second one is slash etc slash sysconfig slash network. Third is slash etc slash auto dot home. Fourth is slash etc 
slash auto dot master fifth is slash var slash yp slash make file this step one in this process is first of all we have to configure the slash etc slash rc dot sys init so rc dot sys init is the system initialization file to be careful in the manipulation time so you should be very careful in manipulating this and you have to not make any mistakes in this rc dot sys init file we will give the domain name entries and domain name mappings in this file only three modification entries that is only setting the domain name for example in the screen you can see that we have to modify domain name is equals to slash bin slash domain name it defines the domain name entry the next change which we have to make is action dollar setting domain dollar domain domain name this is basically done to define the domain name entry now let us move to the another step that is step number 2 the next configuration file is slash etc slash sys config slash network in this file we can specify the host name as well as the domain name so in that configuration file we have to set up networking is equals to yes host name is equals to www domain name is equals to ieg dot gov dot in nis domain name is equals to ieg dot gov dot in so the next step is step number three that is next configuration file is slash etc slash auto dot home we can create an auto dot home file in slash etc directory then we will enter the access criteria that is we have to enter usernames ip address of the local system execution process let us see an example that is star star indicates for all users 192.168.1.1 indicates the local system ip address slash home indicates the directory name and ampersand represents the background process the step number four is next configuration file is slash etc slash auto dot master in this file we will enter the directory name local system ip or yp auto dot home file entry the syntax is directory name we have to provide a tab space then yp colon auto dot home for example slash home space yp colon auto dot home after completion of that auto dot home and auto dot master entries we will make the files that is we will move on to step number five the next configuration file is slash var slash yp slash make file in this file we will be placed auto dot home and auto dot master entries now let us have a detailed look on that configuration file that is what the changes we have to make that is for example we have to include the auto dot home and auto dot master these are the list of the services involved in the nis configuration the services are service ip tables stop service auto fs stop service port map restart service yp serve restart service yp password start service ypx frd start service nfs start service nfs lock restart